hundreds of years, humans have inhabited the island of Manhattan. Most of these people live completely unaware of the billions of microorganisms lurking beneath the city's waters. Oh, they're pretty fast, so I'm having to move around to keep up with this little one. <laughs> I work at the American Museum of Natural History and I study the genomics of free-living microbes. A microbe is any organism that is too small to be seen with the naked eye. They live everywhere, but we weren't seeing them at all in public science space. I decided that needed to change. I think that microbes are wildlife and I thought if I wanted other people to see them, I could just do it myself. So that's how Pond Life all started. When people see me out taking samples in the field, I get a multitude of reactions. Like, are you gonna drink that? Are you fishing? Is that kombucha? <laughs> Collecting microbes takes about 30 seconds. I just scoop up some water, a small amount goes under the microscope, I film the microbes that I find within and upload it to Instagram. I think Pond Life grew because people do like to know about the natural world around them. Thank you everyone for coming. We're here today to look for microbes. It doesn't matter where you live. You can do microbiology in the middle of New York City, in your backyard, wherever you are. This algae is home to millions of microorganisms. Most life on Earth is microbial. They live in the water, soil, air. They even live inside our own bodies. We've coexisted for thousands of years, long before the inception of the city. I want people to relate to microbes because they are very similar to some of our most distant ancestors. By learning about all these different cells, we can maybe learn something about ourselves.